Question 1. Write the following as numbers in the given table. We have different figures representing different units of a number. So we have to write them into the corresponding table like tens, below tens, ones below ones. So in first question, we have three tens, three pillars, and one ones. So writing corresponding values. In the tens, we have two tens. So that makes our first question. And in first question, we have hundreds, zero. Therefore, we write it as zero. In the B part, we have hundreds, one hundred. Tens, we have one. Similarly, ones, we don't have any ones. So we write zero. Similarly, tens, we have four tens. So that makes our first question. Question two. Write the following decimals in the place value table. So we have to represent all of them in the given table. We'll make a place value table. This is a place value table depicting various places. That is one, tens, hundreds, followed with tens after left hand side to the point. So we have different values. We'll start writing from the tens. That is four. Then we have nine in ones position and one in tens position. Likewise, we'll do all of them. 0.3 to the tenths, that is 3 tenths and 0 in ones. 6, 0 and 1 in tenths positions. Similarly, 9 in tenths position, 5, 0 and 2 in hundreds. So this is how we have to do this question. Now we have 7 tenths. We have to write following as decimals. 7 tenths is 7 over 10. So 0.7. Second is 2 tenths. That is 20. And means we have to add it with 1 tenths. That makes 20.9 because we have 9 tenths. In the C part, 14.6. It is easier one. 14.6. Simple. D part, 102 ones. So first, we'll write 100. And then, we have 1 ones. That is 100 plus 1. That would give us plus 2. Therefore, 102.0. Because we have two ones. That is 2 into 1. Then is E part. 600.8. Simple. First, we write 600 and plus 0 0.1. That gives us 600.1. And 0.8. Write each of the following as decimals. So 5 over 10 can be written as decimal because we have 1 0, so we'll place at first decimal place. So it becomes 0 0.5. Similarly, with B, 3 is whole part, will not disturb it. 3 plus 0 0.7 gives you 3.5. Seven. Just count the number of zeros in the dust in the denominator part. Here we have two hundred sixty-five add whole part plus again point five. So it gives two six five point one. Zero you, you may write it or you may not. It's your wish. Then D, 70 whole part, 
plus 0.8 gives you 70.8 now we have e again same procedure 88 over 10 only one circle in denominator part therefore 8.8 .8 is the solution F part 4 plus 2 by 10 2 by 10 is nothing but 0.5 it gives you 4.2 then G part 3 could be written here as 2 plus 1 so we'll write it as 2 plus 1 over 2 we know 2 by 2 gives you 1 so 1 plus 0.5 half it gives you 1.5 as your answer then h part 2 over 5 we'll have to divide it 2 5 0 point to add some 0 5 4 is a 20 so it gives you remainder nothing so it is 0 0.4 I part 12 over 5 can be written as 10 plus 2 over 5. This would give you 2 plus we have calculated earlier for 2 by 5 is 0.4. So it means 2.4 is your answer. J part 3 and 3 by 5. We'll write 3 whole part as it is and we'll calculate 3 by 5 in decimal terms. So divide it. It is proper fraction, so we have to use point 0.56 to 30. So it is 3.6 when you add both the terms. That is 3 plus 0.6 give you 3.6. Now the k part, 4 and half, it's simple, 4 plus 0.5, because half a fraction is equal to 0.5. So this is your question 4. Question 3, write the following decimal as fractions, reduce the fractions to lowest form. Alright, first we'll have to write them as fractions. So 0.6 can be written as 6 over 10. Now it is reducible by 2, 2 to the 6, 5 to the 10 to give you 3 over 5. Not further reducible. So that's your answer. Similarly for the B part, 25 over 10. 5 5 to 25, 5 to the 10. So 5 over 2 is your answer. C part is simple. It is 10 over 10. Or simply one. D part is three point eight. Writing it as I'm cutting nineteen to the thirty eight, five to the ten, not further reducible. So nineteen over five. D part one thirty seven by 10 not reducible half part 212 over 10 by 2 2 ones are 2 0 2 6 are 12 2 5 is a 10 to give you 106 over 5 g part 64 over 10 2 3 is a 6 2 is a 4 so 32 over 5 is your answer express the following as centimeter using decimals so we'll have to 
convert them into centimeters. So we have to note one thing. To convert all of these, we have to remember one centimeter equals to 10 millimeters. That is a conversion factor. Or we can also write them in terms of centimeter. 1 mm would be equal to 1 over 10 centimeter unitary method. Taking 10 to the other side, it gets divided. So remember both these conversion factors. So first is now it's very simple. Let's write it down. A equals to 2 mm. So 2 into 1 over 10 because 1 mm equals to 1 over 10. So 2 would be 2 into 1 over 10. That is 2 over 10. And B part 30 mm. So 30 into 1 over 10. Now here 0, 0 would get cancelled and you would be left with 3 mm. C. 116 by 10 gives you 11.6 millimeters. These would be millimeters. Correct them. This won't be centimeter because. Alright, here it would be centimeters because we are converting it. Now, 4 cm plus 2 mm. So we have to only convert 2 mm. So we'll do over 10. That would give you 4.5 because 2 by 10 is nothing but 0.5 or half. That is your D part. E 162 mm. Converting into centimeters, 162 over 10 gives you 16.2 centimeter. Don't forget to put decimal. Now the F part, 83 mm by 10 centimeters would be equal to 8.3 centimeters. Put point. Accounting the number of zeros in the denominator. That's your question number six. Between which two whole numbers on the number line are the given numbers lie? Which of these whole numbers is nearer to the number? So if we have a number line here, we have to depict decimals where they fall between two whole numbers. So point eight would fall between zero and one clearly and towards Point 0.1 because point 0.5 is the midpoint so anything greater than that would lie towards 1 and anything smaller would towards 0 but in this case point 0.8 lies towards 1 so it is closer to 1 similarly we will do rest of them 5.1 lies between 5 and 6 so you can see 5.1 it would be closer to 5 because it is only point 0.1 distance apart from 5. So lies between 5 and 6 and it is closer to 6 sorry 5. Now 2.6 lies closer to 3 and falls between 2 and 3. So closer to 3. 6.4 between 6 and 7 and it is closer to 6 because it is less than 0.5. E part 9.1 falls between 9 and 10 and is closer to 9. Now the last part, 4.9, it lies between 4 and 5 and it is only 0.1 distance apart from 5. So it is closer to 5.
Therefore, this completes our question number 7. Question 8. Show the following numbers on the number line. So we are given with four numbers, we have to represent them on a number line. So here we have a number line. Point 0.2 would be point 0.1, point 0.2. Here is a part point 0.2. That is 0 0.2. A part. Second is 1.9. 1 1.9 1 .9 would be only point 0.1 distance apart from 2. So here it is point B. 1.1 closer to 1 as we did in the previous question here would be 1.1 2.5 falls right between 2 and 3 here is point 2.5 so that is your question number 8 write the decimal number represented by points given a b c d on the number line so we have to do reverse as we did in previous question. So A8, A is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, point 0.8, 0 0.8 units. We're not given with the units, so we are not writing units, but we, you have to always write units. That is centimeter, millimeter, or whatever given to you. Question second B is 1.3 and C is 2.2, 0.2 units apart from 2, and D is 0.1 units short to reach 3, so it would be 2.9. So that makes your question number 9. Question 10 is the last question. Length of Ramesh notebook is 9 cm and 5 mm. What will be in centimeters? So you have to convert both the questions into centimeters. Second is gram plan 65. So first, again remember the concept: 10 mm equal to one centimeter, and one mm equal to one over ten centimeters. So using both facts, nine centimeter, five mm. We will not disturb nine because it is already already converted so 5 mm would be 5 over 10 that is nothing but 0 0.2 0 0.5 so it is 9.5 centimeters here you have to write units so length of young plant is given 65 mm we convert it and multiply it with 1 over 10 factor to represent it in terms of centimeters 65 into 1 over 10 centimeters so 65 over 10 is nothing but 6.5 it is only one zero is there in denominator so that is your question number 10 b part that's how you have to do all the questions mm -hmm.